welcome to Story Our Fairy Tales. A long time ago, in a magical land far away, lived a king and a queen in a castle on a hill. The king and queen were happy together for many years but they longed for a child of their own. Finally, one winter day, their wish was answered. On a beautiful day, as snow blanketed the land outside the window, the king and queen's daughter was born, and the kingdom rejoiced. With skin as white as snow, lips as red as rubies, and hair as black as ebony, they decided to call her Snow White. Shortly after Snow White was born, the Queen died, and the whole kingdom mourned. One year later, the king married a new queen. The new queen was nothing like Snow White's mother. She was terribly evil and filled with jealousy. The new queen considered herself a tremendous beauty and could not bear the idea that anyone could be more beautiful than her. She kept a magical mirror in the basement of the castle, and every so often she would ask the mirror the same question. Can you help the Queen wipe dust from the mirror? Point at the dusty areas with the Wii Remote and hold down the A button to clear it all away. There's an awful lot of dust. Keep at it. I think I can see a reflection. Most of the dust is gone. Wonderful job. Now it's time to ask the mirror a question. Mirror, mirror. On the wall, the queen would say, Who is the fairest of us all? And every time she asked this question, the mirror would reply, You are the fairest of them all. Much time passed. Seasons came and went, and Snow White grew from a pretty child into a beautiful young woman. Once again, the Queen visited the mirror in the basement and asked the same question as she had so many times before. Mirror, mirror on the wall, the queen said. Who is the fairest of us all? However, this time, the mirror's reply gave the queen a nasty shock. Queen, you are fair, it is true the mirror said. 
but Snow White is fairer still than you. The proud queen, now knowing that she was no longer the most beautiful woman in the land, was filled with envy and hate. The queen was driven mad with jealousy. She could not sleep or even eat. And so she decided to banish Snow White from the kingdom. The queen called for a huntsman and told him to take Snow White through the deep forest on the edge of the kingdom and abandon her in the neighbouring lands. The huntsman led Snow White deep into the forest, but when it came time to banish her, he found that he couldn't. She was far too kind and gentle. The huntsman said he would not banish Snow White, but that she must never return to the kingdom for as long as she lived. Snow White agreed. I will go further into the forest and never come home again, she said. The huntsman left Snow White and started the long journey back to the castle. Relieved to have escaped the evil queen's plot, Snow White suddenly found herself alone and lost in the forest. She made her way through the bushes trying to find help. Can you help Snow White get through the forest? Grasp each twig with the A button on the Wii Remote and release it at the edge of the screen to clear Snow White's path. This forest is a little bit scary. It's starting to get a little easier to see. Looks like there's a clearing ahead. As the sun started to set, Snow White came across a clearing in the forest, in the middle of which stood a little house. So exhausted from running and frightened to spend the night alone in the woods, Snow White decided to enter the little home. Help Snow White by finding the door to the house. Point at the door with the Wii remote and press the A button. Inside the house, Snow White's stomach started to rumble. It had been quite a while since she last sat down for a meal. Snow White is hungry. What should she eat? Point at a piece of food with the Wii Remote and press the A button to choose it. Snow White picked the chicken leg off the plate and took a huge bite. Yum! Almost immediately, her stomach stopped rumbling. After her meal, as a way to repay the owners, Snow White cleaned the dirty house from top to bottom, and then finally fell fast asleep in a room filled with seven 
tiny beds. After a long day of work, seven dwarves made their way back to their home in the middle of the forest. Upon entering their house, the dwarves were very surprised. Their normally dirty home was sparkling clean. Someone must be in the house. All seven dwarves went upstairs in search of the intruder. When they got to the bedroom, they saw Snow White fast asleep in one of their beds. The seven dwarfs need your help. Swing the Wii Remote up and down to gently shake Snow White awake. She's still asleep. Better try again. She's not awake yet. She must be really tired. I think her eyes are opening. When Snow White awoke, she introduced herself to the seven dwarves and told them the horrible story of how the Queen tried to have her banished from the kingdom. The dwarves' hearts swelled with sympathy for Snow White, and they were so taken with how wonderfully she had cleaned their home that they decided to let her stay with them. <laughs> 